What's up guys? Mighty Ledger is back with a new video. Now today, I'm gonna be telling you why people use triangles instead of other shapes. And I know it looks like I have a ping pong ball in my hand, but this one is part of the exam, of the video as well. Before we get into it, please, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you won't miss any of my uploads and also make sure you smash that like button okay <coughs> so today we're going to be talking about why people use triangles instead of other shapes well the only reason why people use triangles is because triangles seem uh, triangles seem like they have more of a how do I say this more supportive if you got if you are planning on using square then you have to add a little bit more support and and it has to be more supportive so yes as you guys know you guys can see through bridges and if you guys don't know <coughs> for bridges I mean for mo for all bridges they actually put triangles. Well I wouldn't say all but almost all bridges. So yes, almost all bridges have triangles. Well the reason is because they're adding support towards the bridges. So, so they're adding triangles because so that they <coughs> won't collapse and they won't fall. It's another it's another thing there's also another thing called structure failure now if you don't know what structure failure means it's because it means that um it means the moment you build it that means that the moment you build the structure and if it falls or anything bad happens that's considered a structural failure so what you need to do is you, you need to <coughs> whatever shape you choose you have to make sure it has the perfect support towards it like say for example, I chose a square and I'm going to be putting it on my bridge. And yes. You guys may be thinking I have to I have to choose triangle, but no. I cho originally chose square. And if I'm planning on making a bridge with square and if I tried it out and if I tested it and it collapsed, that ha huh, that considers structural failure. And I chose another shape call it's a triangle and and I tested it once and and I gave it a few of the test and it's able to withstand anything so triangles is basically the best shape for squares and other shapes they may be problems because sometimes because they have no support or maybe it's because they're a bit slanted or bendy I mean I'm not exactly sure why why uh, why uh, why choosing other shape uh, why choosing triangles is better than other shapes i guess so yes also and also say here i have a ping pong ball and it's it's shaped as a circle if i'm planning on using circles it may collapse or there may be a chance it collapse because the fact that it doesn't seem like it's connected and there's not much support so yeah that's why so remember everyone if you are planning on using I mean planning building a bridge you have to see or test or even or possible even um, and you have to make sure that the test goes well and depending on whatever shape you choose like what I said you have to make sure that it runs carefully and everything to me the best solution is just use triangles because they seem like they have more support and that way the bridge won't just coll uh, simply collapse because mm, and yes that is that is it for this video and if you guys want to hear more videos like this make sure you comment down below and and make sure you hit the like button and subscribe and I'll and I'll see you next time and as usual stay mighty cool peace